Unfortunately, the Ukrainian and Russian war is acting as a beta test for the destructive capabilities of AI. What you are looking at is a soldier firing towards a drone that is out of sight, using autonomous AI to report his position for mortar fire. This is only the start, however. While you may think AI killer robots look like this, they actually look like this. These three deadly AI autonomous killer robots are being used, and one of the most deadly looks like this. These drones are responsible for over 100,000 eliminations in the Ukraine and Russian conflict, which is nearly 25% of the casualties in the war. From direct payload drops on infantry, to AI-analyzed scouting information to acquire targets, AI analysis and drone work has changed the battlefield forever. In terms of killer bots, the drone is unrivaled. They are extremely cheap and accessible for anyone and can be upgraded to be autonomous and controlled by AI for an extra cost on average of $150. This year over 1 million drones will make landfall in the Ukrainian conflict, and their cost effectiveness is unmatched. Imagine having another whole branch of the military at your country's disposal. What would you prefer? A GPS guided rocket shell that costs $100,000 or an AI autonomous drone that costs $400 to $600 that will take out the same enemy targets? Unsurprisingly, the United States has taken notice and created their own autonomous drone swarm program where hundreds to potentially thousands of AI drones loaded with explosives and freedom will swarm their targets leaving no hope for the intended target. The Russian war has ignited an AI arms race where the US is planning a massive movement similar to the Manhattan Project in a race to beat China to AI supremacy. However, the Sky Drone isn't the only AI autonomous killer robot. AI is changing naval warfare as well. The Manta Ray is an underwater drone that can deliver destructive payloads to anywhere in the sea. They can self-charge and travel far distances with no risk to a human operator. Massive naval ships are beginning to stand no chance. I mean, think about it. A massive drone swarm above, while below the surface, manta ray vessels are dropping payloads as well. It is a complete overload of defenses and a terrifying future. This is the infancy of AI warfare, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. AI is being used in fighter jets now and can be controlled autonomously, which is terrifying. Not only is it flying the jet, but it can do maneuvers other pilots cannot because AI isn't affected by G-Force. The AI systems have been put into fights against real pilots and have learned over time. Now it's rare for a top-notch pilot to beat an AI-operated jet in a dogfight. Sometimes it may be even, but the AI system is learning rapidly. This is a horrifying future because if AI ever decides to take over, not even our top pilots would be able to beat them. Recently, Elon Musk signed an open letter along with other top scientists and professionals urging AI developers to pump the brakes, because we are heading towards a dangerous cliff. With AI rapidly advancing and now being beta tested in war, the destructive capabilities could be a new nuclear cold war all over again, except this time, the nukes may have a mind of their own. Not only are they physically destructive, but the data they collect causes direct destruction. But how can AI data help in battle? With a few clicks, a Ukrainian Palantir engineer can mine a ton of battlefield data that until recently would have taken hundreds of humans to analyze. The Palantir software processes raw intelligence from AI sources like drones, satellites, and thermal imaging to create a complete overview of the battle. AI then takes all of this information and provides the most effective options to target enemy positions, and the model improves and learns with each strike. It's like having a general with a perfect engagement strategy at the push of a button. We have a short story about how AI autonomous killer robots can affect the entire world. In a dystopian future, the Dominion, a tyrannical government, ruled a small country with sheer brutal force. The government had employed mercenaries to patrol the streets, crushing any sign of dissent. But in the shadows, a small resistance group known as Echo was planning to overthrow the Dominion. Echo's plan revolved around a group of five people, three robotics experts and two coders. Developed in a basement away from the Dominion's crushing reach, work began. The robotics experts crafted thousands of drones with explosive payloads and mounted machine guns. They crafted small robot soldiers that carried rifles. The coders got to work on programming the robots with AI systems that automatically automatically detected any Dominion enforcers and would neutralize them swiftly. After years of preparation and mass recruitment, the time to strike had arrived. Under the cover of night, Echo began releasing thousands of autonomous drones into the sky from all around the country with hundreds of AI ground troops. It was a quiet night until the sound of buzzing could be heard all around the Dominion's headquarters. It sounded like a locust swarm, but once the sound of gunfire erupted, there was no mistaking its intentions. War had started. The Dominion unequipped for an assault like this was crushed. Any sympathizers quickly hushed and the tyrannical grip of the Dominion loosened. 
With the help of AI, the citizens reclaimed the small country and life returned to normal. Overall, I think that AI on the battlefield is a very risky idea. AI is extremely goal-oriented and lacks morality. It will get its job done, regardless of the cost. AI and self-driven drones are causing insane amounts of damage to ground troops, leaving them defenseless. It is an extremely gruesome situation, and unfortunately, it's just the tip of the iceberg. We have a video about how AI can save us from our extinction linked here. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, keep your mind strong and your curiosity stronger. Till next time.